this lesson we're going to be installing some short codes. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your desktop and open up the code canyon file that we left there. Click on the 1.5 and look for the Kingdom Affiliate theme. And if you click on the file inside that 1.6.2, you'll find a, a PDF called Documentation. Okay, you want to open that up and then you want to scroll down to where it gives you like a, a list of menus. You know, there's quite a lot of stuff on this, which is quite useful if you need it. But we're just looking for the short codes today. Okay, so here's the menu. We're going to click on the home page. And this will take you off to a separate documentation. Okay, now this gives us all our short codes we need for the home page. How to get our blog posts on, how to get some feature products on. But they're just basic. So we'll get them installed just now. If you go in and your dashboard and you click on pages and then we want to click on add new and now in the top you want to click the title home page and then you want to paste your short codes into that text box below so we copy this and we paste this here that will give us our featured products on our home page now Okay, you want to change this to Revolution Slider, and then you want to, you can put the post title to No. You then want to publish it. And then you want to go to Settings. Reading, and then you'll see that we have up the top there it says front page displays your latest posts or a static page. Click a static page and then select your home page from the front page drop down menu and then click save changes. And what that will do is that will put that page we just created onto the front page of your website. So we're just going to have a look at that just now. Okay, now that's what that's what's happened there. You now have a home page with obviously we don't have any featured products just now, but once we do put some on, they'll appear there. Now where this red box is, this is where your slider is going to go. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go and put the slider in just now. Now the slider is the picture that we've just went and got from steps either 5.2 or 5.3. You know, the first thing you want to do is you want to click on Revolution Slider and then you want to click on Add a Slider, Default Slider, and then we're just going to call it Home Page. And the alias is going to be Home Page as well. Okay, and I'm just going to put a hero scene because I've only got the one picture just now. But you can have multiple pictures on rotation. Okay, now if you know the size of the image, you're going to want to adjust this here. So what we'll do is we'll go away and check the size of the image. Okay, now that's the size we're going to make the image. Okay, now you only have to change the image size in the one, the two boxes, sorry, just here. And the reason for that is, is because it's a responsive theme. So all the other sizes automatically change for notebooks or tablets or mobiles. You just scroll to the bottom and click on save settings. It'll then take us on to an, a new page. Okay, now you want to select the top tab main background image. And then you want to click on the tab that appears. And you want to choose the photo from steps 5.2 or 5.3 and insert that. Okay, now if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll be able to modify this image. Okay, now you can see that here. Okay, now you can add layers to this. So if you click on the Add Layer tab, it will give you an option to add text or an image or a few other bits and bobs. But we're just going to add text today. Okay, so I'm going to type in something like 
grow your indoor growing needs. Growing needs. Okay, now, what you want to do is you can change the colour of the text. If you select the text and we go up to the top, just click this tab. I think I've changed it to white. Okay, that stands a little bit better. I'm sure I said blends in a bit better. You know, you can align it center in the center vertically and horizontally by clicking those two tabs at the top there. Okay, so that it's right in the middle. I think I'm going to change the text. Will go for something yeah like that okay so it's went back to black but i think i'll just stick with that anyway i'll just center it yeah that's fine we'll just save it okay if you just go up to the wee disc floppy disk and just click save you okay, know that'll be your slider now saved onto your home page so if we go along to the home page we'll have a quick look at that Okay, now it isn't displayed, but there's a simple, if we just go into edit page, and if we just go down to the bottom, where the we selected revolution slider, now you shouldn't have to change anything because we did do it, uh, but we'll just check that everything's the same, yeah, revolution slider, home page, title no, there's nothing we could change there. So what we'll do is we'll just click update. Abracadabra. Should solve the problem. Go back. Come on. There we go. Perfect. So all you have to do is you just, if, if you have, if you go into that page and there's nothing wrong with it, just go in and hit update. Um, obviously it just needs to get get notified that we've added that image. Okay, now we want to go back to the dashboard now. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in our next short code, which is for our latest blog post. Of course, we've not got any blog posts yet, so nothing will show up. But we may as well put the short code in, so when we do, they will show up. So we copy that short code and we go to page views. Oh, sorry, we'll just go back to the website and we'll go to edit page at the top. You know, you want to paste this short code underneath the featured product short code. update and it's as simple as that and that's it done and if we go back to the home page we can see that the latest blogs will be at the bottom scroll down put your featured products and your latest blog posts and that's it Okay, now this next step is for people who used a free logo. You're going to have to put some credits into the bottom footer of the site. So if you want to go back to the dashboard and you want to click on the tab for Kingdom Theme. You scroll down to the bottom, it's just underneath Woozone. If we click on that, it'll take us in and we want to click out in the loop. Click on the layout tab and then we want to click on footer. Okay, now the first thing you're going to change is the phone support line. Now, unless you've got a phone support line, you can obviously put your number in here, but I'm just going to put some text in here. I'm just going to change this for all your growing needs.
spell and isn't up to the best today. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to change these to your website. Okay, so obviously I've got a separate website that I'm going to put in here. But you can obviously just put this website's address in here. So I'm going to change this to johnbrharkins.com change the A team to my name. Okay now what you want to do is you want to put this you want to go back to the logo maker if you still have it open. If not ho hopefully you've saved your credits. You can if you if you bookmark the page you can go back to it and your logo will still be there and um, you can get the credits again just by clicking on the floppy disk icon to save it so I'll just show you that here so to get your credits you just click on the save and then just click copy credits it'll say credits copied in the bottom right we'll just go back to that box and we'll just highlight at the end here Take out the rest of this text and we'll just paste that in. Okay, now that basically puts all the the credits you need to for the logo. Uh, so you can legally use that. And that's that. What we'll do is we'll go back and we'll have a look at that first. Okay, now you can put in your Amazon and LinkedIn and some other URLs here but we're not going to bother with that because obviously Amazon's going to be dealing with the payments so you just want to click save settings and go back and see what this looks like okay now you can see up the top there it says for all your growing needs instead of the phone number and if you scroll right to the bottom I'll have the credits just here and that's for your logo okay now they're all completely linked you don't have to link them it comes as a code okay and then what we'll do is we'll go back to the dashboard And then we'll go back to the Kingdom theme. And what we'll do is we'll add some social uh, icons in. So we want to click on the Kingdom and layout again, and then social setup. Okay, now I've got a few pages set up for this. Okay, now I'm just going to enter some Facebook and I think I'll put on a YouTube channel. YouTube will be my channel. Twitter. Yeah. I'll, Pinterest, I'll put one on Pinterest as well. Okay. Save settings. Click the shop tab just to have a quick check. Okay, now you can change the number of items per page, etc. But I'm just going to leave it. We'll just go back and have a look. Okay, now you'll see in the top right hand corner we'll have our social media icons now. So we've got Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Pinterest. And then obviously for all your growing needs next to that. And that's you done. Now you're ready to fill your store with some products.